Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 66 of Ocean Block. That's right, we're back and ready to go. Um, today we're going to do some rooms over in the Batania area. <laughs> I uh, love this teleporter. Mm -hmm. um, I have some things ready uh, for the... Uh, first we have to make the four uh, season runes. Um, and then we can make the uh, seven deadly sins. Uh, but we need the four different runes in order to make... Uh, all of those, but each one takes a living rock, and uh, this one takes runes and various things, and these take mana diamonds and two other runes. Um, so hopefully I will have... Uh, I don't think they eat the runes or the recipe, so let's see and get this started. Doot, 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 and this should go pretty quickly, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Um, get our living rock ready. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, the runes don't get consumed unless you use them in a crafting recipe. Um, like if you use them on the altar, they don't get consumed. If I remember correctly. It's been a while. <laughs> and I guess we'll get to see in a second. A boot. Oh yeah, that was right. Okay, so we now have the Rune of Autumn. Um, I believe this was air and this was fire. Um, let's see over here if we get a valid recipe. So, and get our living rock ready. Look at all this time in a bottle I have. Uh, maybe I can. I wonder if I can speed up um, this. I guess it's going as slow as the meta sprinter. Can I speed that up? get sped it up. This seems to be taking as long I don't know. Awesome. Runa Summer. Where are you? Runa Summer. Runa Summer. And then, I believe, it's Rune of Earth. I don't, I don't think that's, that's right for that one. Let's see. That's the Rune of Winter. It takes Rune of Earth and Rune of Water. Oh, so this is uh, Summer, Water, and Fire. No, it's supposed to be, oh, the summer. I think I took it off already. Uh, 
Is this autumn? Ah, it's spring. It's fire and water. Okay, so that one's right. fast. Um. This should be all of them, uh, all of the different rooms. I did not make an island. I need to do that. Um, don't know where. I want it to be kind of close to this one uh, because it is potato related. Hi kitty. Oh man. There we go. In the spring. snow using my ice uh, crystal essence. Uh, I used four of it to make the snow because <laughs> I didn't know how to make the snow otherwise. Um, I think you could make it in the blast no, I'm not sure. essence can make it in a multi servo press could have done it with botania around the pure daisy uh, but I already had the ice essence so there we go that was like the hard part there we go oh kitty you can't sit on the mouse Okay, there's the Rune of Winter, and there are our four basic runes. Um, and we had to do those before we could do the um, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get our rewards for this section. Chicken seeds. Uh, that would have been nice to know before I made them myself. Basic flux storage. A band of aura. That's kind of cool. And a mob duplicator. Oh, that's kind of cool too. Although I have one going. I have one going. Okay, um, anything go in? No. Okay, so we can pretty much take all of these out. And let's get rid of the winter, spring, and summer. And that leaves our seven over here. So let's start with greed. What do you take? Water and spring. And spring. Alright, let's do this. Let's get 
those there. And go do, do, do. <coughs> And then while that one's uh, waiting, I guess we can, so that's greed. Gluttony takes fire and winter. a long time. Uh, but we can do it. We can power through. Um, what I plan on building my island with is this builder. Um. <laughs> Uh, it's got power, a chest to put items in, and a lever to turn it on. Uh, oh, we're ready. Ooh. Awesome. Okay. Let's get Rune of Greed. Water goes back down there. Spring goes back up there. And then we can get another one started. Uh, so that one's... Is that gluttony? Fire in the winter. Yeah. Alright. Let's get rid of gluttony and work on rad. Needs earth. And winter. Uh oh. Uh, winter is on the table already. Awesome. Um, what's this doing? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's drained very much since I opened it. So I think I'll just leave it open. Because it's still got plenty of mana. Oh, it's almost ready. No gluttony. winter went right where it should have gone. So that's great. Uh, so that's uh, Wrath. So let's get the next one ready. The Rune of Lust is Air and Summer. No problem. Air <laughs> yeah, it does not take long to get these ready. Um, uh, I love how you can see at night um, and see the area that these feral flares light up very well. You can see it all the way over here. Ooh. I like those. Uh, don't have to worry about setting down a million torches to light everything up. Here we go. Let's start this one. 
and then go put this one up. We got the Rune of Wrath, Rune of Winter, Rune of Earth. Okay, so Lust should be on there. Now let's get Sloth. Autumn and Air. Oh, Air is on there. Good amount of mana. Oh, it's almost ready. Almost. Okay, there's the Rune of Lust. I think it was air. is on there and we need summer and fire for pride fire and summer there we go oh allergies <laughs> So now we put fire, summer, two of those. We're almost there. Rune of Slaw. And then autumn and air. Uh, okay, so pride is on there. And all that's left is envy. Winter and water. <laughs> it always seems like it's got half. It's half done. Half done. Um, so once I get the other island set up, I think I need to figure out how big it needs to be. Uh, for the Gaia ritual. I bet it says in the Lights of Athenia. Okay, so put this guy on there. <laughs> it's even worse than half. Um, let's, let's look. Do I have the legs of Tanya out here? Or did I put it in my bag? I don't think I put it in my bag. Yes. Um, so, does it say anything about, uh, trinket 
Upgrades and accessories. Oh, I think it's done. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Rune of Envy. Rune of Winter. And Rune of Water. Let's see if we can find this. Um, this part of Britannia. I'm sure that they have something about it. Maybe if I look up Gaia. lens, crystalline helmet, an injured tank, a mob fan, and prudentium apple. Oh, uh, I got, let's put the petals over here. I think if I just pick this up, yeah, I've completed a quest. Um, I got like, su not Supremium, um, one for four Supremium. Oh, we also can do, um, another Singularity. Um, our sifting of the end, the crushed end stone is going well. Um, look, I'm actually gaining in stone. Um, I'm sifting it that fast, and and I'm getting. Um, a surplus of it. So that is good to know um, that uh, I could probably get a second sluice going on it. Uh, but over here, these crystal shards, uh, we now have 2,000 of them. So we could tell it to transport those over to here real quick. And put that in there. And that'll be done in a jiffy. We can turn it back off. Boop. And then take those out. Move back in. And then clear up 
the stuff out of my inventory. Also, we should be able to... Oh, it was insane. Oh, it was insane. apples. I thought it was the one before, not the one after. But I got a stack of those as a quest reward. So, um, not quite as good, <laughs> but still pretty good. I, I guess my food is better than that, but it doesn't give. Uh, oh, look at all that. Wow. That is awesome. Okay, so... Hopper Nitro. Um, maybe it says in the quest. Get out of my inventory. Let's look what it says. Uh, see the Lexica Britannia for how to summon the Gaia. Fight the harder guardian of Gaia. Use a Gaia ingot on the beacon in your fight area to summon it. But I didn't see it. Um, Ritual of Gaia. The Ritual of Gaia is a trial often undertaken by elves. It yields Gaia spirits, which are coveted as fragments of the power of the goddess of Gaia herself. This ritual requires an active beacon with Gaia pylons surrounding it, functioning as an altar, as well as a single terrestrial ingot as a sacrifice. <coughs> Pixie dust and elementium ingots around the mana pylon. Okay. We have those. Oh, we need a beacon. Does it say anything about... Um, to start the ritual, simply sneak right-click the beacon with the terrestrial ingot. Take a step back and prepare to fight for your life. Preparation is absolutely required. The fight with the Guardian of Gaia can be even harder than that with the Wither. Upon the Guardian's defeat, a handful of spirits of Gaia is dropped as a prize. Standard gear for this ritual is a set of enchanted aluminium armor, a terra blade, and a miscellany of brews and trinkets. Do note that the beacon's effect is forcibly nullified during the battle. The Guardian has a massive pool of health, so preparing with enchantments and brews is a must. The difficulty of and reward yielded by the ritual depends on the number of people participating. Performing the ritual with over five people in the vicinity can be a recipe for disaster with the chaos created, so rituals on that scale probably shouldn't be attempted. Lastly, it might be a good idea to stay away from the purple. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't say anything about uh, the size, but it looks like maybe five or six away. I think an island about the one that, about the size of the one that I did originally should be big enough, I think. Uh, 
um, oh, yeah, uh, forgot to check on our singularity over here, crystal shard singularity, and, um, should have enough oak to do the oak log. I put, um, I changed the sawmill down here to uh, only take uh, the oak if it's over 2,000 instead of 500. That way it leaves us uh, stuff to make a singularity out of. So that's always good. Uh, so we can come over here and get some oak. Go and make the oak singularity again. Boop. Yeah, that goes pretty fast with stack upgrade. There we go. And now we have the oak singularity as well. Because I never remade that one. Okay. Put you in there. Oh, look at all this. I'm trying to think. Um, I think there's another one that I didn't done yet, but I don't remember. Yeah, it looks like, like it's not doing anything. There's no progress bar. And, and it's done. <laughs> and it's done. There we go. That's five of thirty. <laughs> um, oh, I think I figured out what the hydrogen is for, and I might want to not void the hydrogen. Uh, I think I got an ultimate one over here. Let's go down there and see. That's the wrong doodad. So I can keep this tank over there. There we go. Uh, now we got uh, this tank full of hydrogen for when we start the it called? I think there's a uh, HDPE sheet. Um, you have to make these pellets and out of the pellets you need oxygen and liquid ethylene. Oh, so I'm going to have to make some more oxygen. So I think the liquid ethylene starts from ethylene, which you use hydrogen, water, and biofuel. And you get a substrate and ethylene. Uh, so that's where we need the hydrogen from. make those. So I guess we'll um, oh no. uh, it's always good to leave your hydrogen laying around. <laughs> 
No, it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, I I took chemistry class and and I heard horror stories about having hydrogen laying around. So <laughs> I'm not very comfortable leaving it laying around. Okay, so what did we get for a book singularity? A refined obsidian axe. <laughs> and for the crystal shard, an Eternium shovel. So, there you go. Um, let's drop this stuff off. I don't know where I'm at. A refined obsidian axe and an Eternium shovel. Okay, so um, the, the only thing left in Botania is, I believe, um, the, the Gaia Bites. Uh, and technically, we've already gotten a reward for the normal one, because we had those Gaia spirits uh, looted. working on something in between episodes. Um, where are you? Over here. Uh, it's not all complete yet, so... Uh, <laughs> it's my botany pot uh, compact machine. Um, this one is all oak. Uh, I haven't I haven't gotten them fully planted yet. I want to put some sea pickles in here um, to get ready for that. But uh, there are four levels completely filled, and I want to put some around the middle and leaving a leaving a gap so I can still get around. Um, but that would. That would leave me even more if I left like a three by three area and then put more pots here. Yeah. <laughs> put squeeze pack as many as many botany pots as possible. That would be amazing. But, I don't know if, um, if that was like a, oh, I don't know if I can do that in here. If it was a fluke that it ate my bucket, or if it's going to eat my bucket every single time uh, I put water in a botany pot. So let's go up to the top. So I was thinking of having just a whole side for sea pickles. Cause why not? <laughs> Cause why not? Um, I guess I need to make um, some more buckets. I'm flying. 
Oh, this is hard. It's my iron. It's my iron. <laughs> bye bye, iron. got any sea pickles. Oh, 600. How do we get so many? Nice. So let's just get a whole bunch. There we go. The <laughs> sea pickles. Done. Oh, I can't. I can't do that in here. So we got sea pickle preparation taken care of. Uh, we could still have like two rows, uh, two levels to fill out in there. Yes, that's all I've got for today. Uh, so if you'd like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.